Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my personal favorite Weatherby cartridges. I'm going to narrow them down to five. I'll talk a brief history about them and mostly go over their performance and why they're on my list. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and get to them. At number five, we are going to talk about a 6.5 cartridge because that is, of course, the craze. So, of course, I had to have one on my list. Of course, it's not this cartridge. It's a little bit small for a Weatherby. This is, of course, the beloved 6.5 Creedmoor. At number five, I have the 6.5 300 Weatherby. Let's go ahead and look to see how it compares. Now, I don't have a 6.5 300 Weatherby, but I do have a 300 Weatherby. And it doesn't even fit in my frame. All right, there we go. So the 65 300 Weatherby came out in 2016. It is a 300 Weatherby case that is necked up to 6.5 millimeter. And Weatherby really only had one purpose with this cartridge to produce the fastest 65 cartridge available. And they did just that. And it actually turns out to be the flattest factory offered cartridge as well so let's go ahead and see the numbers on this bad boy so what i'm going to do is give you factory ammo uh, reloading you might be able to get a little bit better performance with a 130 grain bullet that is from the factory you're getting muzzle velocity of almost 3500 feet per second which is insane and at 400 yards, that gives you energy at 2145. That is a lot for a 6.5 cartridge. And this is why it makes number five. It's because of just how insane it is. At number four, we have the fastest 30 caliber Magnum. This is the 3378 Weatherby Magnum. And up until 1996, when this cartridge came out, the 300 Weatherby was the fastest factory offering. But of course, Weatherby took it to the next step. What they did was they took their 378 Weatherby and necked it down to 30 caliber. And what this does is give you about 200 feet per second more advantage over the 300 Weatherby. When comparing it to the 300 Weatherby, as you can see here, uh, the casing is just a little bit longer and quite a bit uh, wider. Uh, the 378 Weatherby is not based off the 300 h and Magnum like the 300 Weatherby is, and it gives you a lot more powder. Let's look at how much powder you can put in this thing. So up to 120 grains or more of powder Let's go ahead and look at the velocities to see how fast this thing really does go. Looking at a 180 grain bullet, you can get this going over 3,400 feet per second. Whew, that's fast. Okay. Now where this thing really excels at is the bigger bullets. A 200 grain bullet, 3,300. Let's go up to the 220 grain ELDX bullet. And Hornaday claims that you can get that going 3150. When you get factory ammo from Weatherby, you can get that 220 grain ELDX, but it's going 3050 feet per second. Even though it's not as fast as hand loading it, look at the energy at 400 yards, over 3000 foot pounds of energy. That's roughly around a 30-06 at the muzzle. So, yeah, this thing is a powerhouse. Coming in at number three, we have the 340 Weatherby Magnum. If you guys have been around the channel, you know how much I really like the 340. This cartridge came out in 1962. It's also based off the 300 Weatherby case, uh, but this time it's necked up to... Uh, fit a 338 caliber bullet. Uh, the 340 Weatherby was created to compete with the 338 Win Mag, and it does that, and it 
it goes quite a bit faster than the wind mag roughly around 200 feet per second faster than the wind mag and about the same velocity as the 338 lapua mag let's go ahead and look at the numbers though all right looking at a 225 grain bullet you can hand load that up to 3,000 feet per second with the 250 grain bullets at 2,900 feet per second. Well, let's go ahead and look to see how fast you can get them from Weatherby. Okay, looking at a 250 grain partition from the Weatherby website, they claim you can get a velocity of almost 2,950. It's really moving. At 400 yards, 2,678 foot-pounds of energy. I think this cartridge is one of the most underrated ones from Weatherby. Uh, it's not as popular, uh, hence why I put it only at number three, uh, just because it's not offered in a Weatherby Vanguard, only in a Mark V. And for whatever reason, it's just not as popular as the others. At number two, we have Roy's personal favorite cartridge. That is the 257 Weatherby Magnum. And it's one of his originals. Uh, it was developed in 1944. It is based off the 300 h and H case. Uh, it's shortened a little bit, so it could fit a standard length action. And this thing is fast. And I think quite underrated. Uh, not a lot of people are using the 25 calibers, but I think they should be. Let's go ahead and look at some of the numbers. Okay. With a 100 grain bullet, you can get this going well over 3,500 feet per second. 110 grain bullet, 3,400 feet per second. Now let's see how the factory ammo does and what the energy is at 400. Getting factory ammo from Weatherby, you can get a 110 grain Acubon, the Nosler bullet, and you can get 3,460. That's fast. At 400 yards, 1,500 foot-pounds of energy. So this cartridge matches and I think actually exceeds the 270 Winchester and the 308 Winchester in just a little itty-bitty 25 caliber bullet. It's really insane performance. This thing is really a lightning rod, and that's why it's at number two. And of course, at number one, I have the most popular Weatherby cartridge, the 300 Weatherby Magnum. This cartridge was also one of the original Magnums. It was developed in 1944, and it, at one time, was the fastest 30 caliber Magnum until the 90s when uh, Weatherby decided to one-up it. And what this gives you, if you are shooting a 180 grain bullet, you can get over 3,200 feet per second. It is extremely versatile. Uh, Weatherby even claims that it's their most versatile cartridge, and I think that's why this cartridge is also their best seller. But let's go ahead and look at the energy that it provides out to 400 yards. With factory ammo, using a 180 grain Acubond, you can get it going 3,250 feet per second. And at 400 yards, you have over 2,500 foot pounds of energy. So plenty of energy. And I think just because of its versatility, uh, you know, 30 caliber bullets, you can shoot from 110 grain all the way up to really a 250 grain. And so I had to put the 300 Weatherby at number one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know below what you think. If you think there are cartridges that I should have put on here, please let me know. And thanks for watching.